Okay, so uh, yeah, we got some we got some spiffy t stuff today. Um, basing. This is for Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of tell you how this goes down. Okay, so I got I don't know. I'm gonna do a piece of terrain of like three bases or something. That sounds cool. They're fantasy bases because I don't actually want to waste circle bases. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we got uh we got some random tools. We got some brushes that I don't care about. Actually, I like the blue one. I drive a lot of stuff with that in the Salamander's army. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a pen, there's a box cutter, a piece of foam core, three bases, yes, crappy brushes, some random paints for like a few dollars each or something, a cup of water, actually two cups of water because it sinks through, uh, we also have some white glue, wood glue works the same, works just as well, it's nice, oh, I just I woke up with allergies today, I got some static grass there, static grass probably didn't help the allergies, I got some weird smell, smell to it, got a bag of shale that's leaking everywhere, everywhere, yeah, I like wash my desk and scrub it, that was exciting, yeah, no, not fun, that's like pencil lead, okay, and then there's like some big rocks or whatever, and then there's my formula of sand, okay, over here, you see this? I draw like a little circle. I'm gonna do like a little piece of terrain to show you instead of just a little base what it looks like on what it, my basic technique looks like on a little base and also a bigger base kind of thing. Uh, I get a box cutter. I cut the crap out of the phone core. I stabbed the shit out of it pretty much. Um, yeah. I go to town with it, dude. And uh, maybe this is why these videos are gonna take me long. Anyway, this is a two-part video because uh, it's really bored and recorded a lot of stuff, so it has to be in two parts. So this is basing part one. So look. I cut a circle of foam core out. Actually, it's not really a circle. It's more of an oval-looking weird shape, but it, it's it's doable. Okay. I take the box cutter, and uh, I do it kind of like in an angle, because uh, I definitely finished cutting that foam core with the scissors, so the edges all got messed up. So anyway, you cut it in an angle, and look, you get like a flat angle coming down or whatever. So it's not just like, oh, look, my terrain, it starts on, like, and there's like a stair up to this hill. No, that doesn't make any sense. Let's, uh, let's chop it up. This is kind of dangerous, j just saying. I'm really into terrain, like, I'm, I'm awesome at terrain, more than painting and stuff, surprisingly, so, uh, yeah, uh, I suggest you don't do this if you're under the age of, uh, 20, yeah, I'm not 20, but, like, people do some retarded things with blades, tell me about it, that's a piece of shale, I super glued it down, yep, and, uh, that, that's a bag of, uh, of, like, gravel kind of stuff that I bought for a few dollars. Well, there's a lot more in there when I bought it. Anyway, white glue, you put some white glue down, little patches. You put the big pebbles first, and then you fill out with the sand later on. Because otherwise, if you try and do them at once, the big pebbles fall off because the sand's taking up all the little spots. So yeah, you can see the edging I did, and the whole point of that with the uh, the blade going at an angle. Okay, this is my they, my box of fun stuff. Okay, I suggest you don't use my formula, because you got to find the right stuff for it. It's hard to do. This is called Kids Play Sand from my neighbor, and uh, unscented cat litter for my other neighbor. Okay, so now over here, you get glue on there. I think this is the right video clip. Yes, this shouldn't be a hard part. You put glue on the base. You try not to get it on your fingers as I just did there. You pick it up. You put a little water on the brush, and you put it on the top of the base. Now, don't, don't glue the edges. Do not put glue, white glue, all over the edges and stuff. No, you don't do that. Jeff, you have some of that going on. I suggest you rip that off the majority of your tyranids that have all this little excess sand and crap going on their sides. That looks stupid. That looks bad. Not really working. Okay. You want your edge of the base to be clean cut. So there you go. Look at that. It's uh, it's white glue on a base. It was like drawing in the lines, but a lot easier. Um, So here we go. Uh, You, you dump sand on it. And, uh, look, you get this. Now, there's some sand on the edges, kind of like what you had, Jeff. Yeah, that, that's not going to work for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, like, put that off with your hands as soon as you glue it. Just kind of like, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, this part of it, because I wanted to do it and then have it dry overnight, this part was, uh, I think 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. Playing lots of Counter-Strike and stuff. It was fun. So, okay, here we go. Uh, come on, camera. There you go. Okay, so I did that to the rest of the bases. That was exciting. One of the other little bases has a piece of shale on it. I'm just throwing this in there. This is covered with white glue. You water down the white glue just a little bit so you get it drying a lot quicker. But you don't want to stick everything to it real hard. You want to have some of the stuff fall off, which I'll talk about later. Here we go. So uh, 
I'm putting sand on a piece of wet terrain. Glue stuff, yes. Uh, not that difficult, but some people have difficult with that. Anyway, look at that. That's why I kind of lose the cat litter. It gives extra texture to the sand instead of just the plain old, like, whatever, just like, look, it's sand, or like that GW stuff they sell is ridiculous. It's huge, like, it's just all huge like that. I would mix that, say, with the sand or something would be the best way to go. And for sand, you could buy, like, I don't know, a few pound bag, which that's a lot, at Home Depot for, like, $5, I think. It's called, like, Children's Play Sand, or just sand in general. It doesn't really matter. This, again, is for my neighbor, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, so, uh, okay. Being interrupted while recording is not that fun. So anyway, here we go. Uh, continuing along here, we have, uh, yes, you get a dry brush, and, like, a stiff brush. This is the brush that you don't care about that you poke in people's eyes, that you poke in other places. I don't really want to know. This is the brush that you don't care about you can throw out any second. It's like you put super glue on this kind of brush. You get it. It's usually hard and crappy. And you just kind of go all over the place and get all that extra crap that didn't glue on. This is the next day, by the way. You want to have this uh, dry, definitely. Okay, so I definitely just get interrupted again. So that, that was really exciting. That, that definitely uh, made my day here. Okay, so continuing along. Uh, I just do this to the other bases. Yep, it's not all that exciting. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So, uh, yay, next slide. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now I'm I'm putting brown paint on them. I think this is the part. Uh, that would be, yes, look. So I got some brown paint that I had to, like, scrape out of the bottom of the thing because I ran out when doing Tim's display board. So, uh, yeah, so I got a little brown. And there's base. And it's very dry. And not really many of the pebbles are coming off, so it's all cool. Now you add a little water to this so it can go in the cracks. If you just do straight paint on it, it's going to come up like, flat looking. Everything's going to mold together because acrylic paint is like a plastic or something. It's weird looking when you actually play around with it. So, uh, yeah, you just kind of put this on. And, yeah, a little water and it goes in the cracks. Very nice. There you go. Okay, then. That sounds cool. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get some friends later together, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and play Risk or something. That sounds cool. Risk is awesome. I'm still doing this. I don't know why this is part of the video. You you, you saw one base done. Anyway, you do this the rest. Okay. So over here, doing it to the train. This is not a difficult step. Anyone can base this awesome. But uh, some people just don't. And before you even mention green base with uh, goblin green edging, people at Warhammer 40k do not fight on football fields unless you're like, like I've seen the Trader Guard army with the bright green bases. And then you're wondering, so did they, uh, ra while raiding this hive city, did they come across a blood bowl field or something? And were just like, yo guys, how's it going? Let's corrupt the field. Make it bright green. Uh, no. No. Get out of here. Right now. Okay, so anyway. Uh... I do this for a while, and uh, how long do I do this for? I do this for a really stupid amount of time, so uh, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to put a few pictures of what's coming up, so you might actually want to watch the second part of it. This is just rudimentary stuff. This is the hard, annoying, boring part. The next stuff is fun, because it has to do with driver shape, which is...